Hey guys, it's Rachel with The Little Green Lamb and today my video is my new year, new goals video. So I didn't, I don't remember if I did one of these last year. I think I did one maybe summer goals the year before and I kind of do these sporadically but I decided to actually be more productive and post it like a little after New Year's when you know, everybody else is setting goals. So basically if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notebook where I've written down my goals. So I have four different categories for goals and my first is YouTube goals. So my YouTube goals are to film top five Wednesday videos in advance. I wanna see the topics at the beginning of the month, film the videos, edit them and have them on my desktop so I can drag them into YouTube on Wednesdays. Cause sometimes I find my fault with top five Wednesdays is I wanna do the topic, something comes up and I can't do the topic and I feel really sad cause I'm like, oh, I really wanna do the topic. So I'm gonna to try to be more organized and film those in advance. Um, another goal I have for YouTube is to try, try to be more consistent with my uploading times. Now, I like Top 5 Wednesdays, for example, and like all my videos, I really post them when I was like later at night, like 10 o'clock. I wanna to try to at least post them in the afternoon, if not morning. Morning would be ideal because then for Wednesday, like you guys have a day, like I'm not posting Top 5 Wednesday, and it's almost Thursday, rather Top 5 Wednesday actually when we have more of Wednesday. Um, because I'm fine, I'm always posting videos late, and it's just really stressful because I really want to get them uploaded, and then I, like, on school nights, like, I want to go to sleep, and I can't go to sleep till it's uploaded because I have to press, like, the publish and make sure it all went through properly. So I want to try to be more earlier and consistent with times, um, especially if I'm doing the Top 5 Wednesday, having the scheduled uploading might help with that. And also, of course, I want to try to improve my quality of videos, like the framing and the lighting. The lighting's not going to be the greatest for these next, probably, month of videos because it's winter and it's there especially when snow is on the ground like there's not too much snow but I find like whenever it is like looking out my window because like I'm in my like my backyard has like white fencing and stuff and I find like all that reflection with like there being no sun it really washes me out and washes everything else out around me so I'm hoping to maybe figure out how I can fix that problem and fix the frames of my video because I know they have a thicker black outline around them and I'm gonna try to see if I can fix that because yeah, it's just something I don't really like around my videos, but you know, every year I want to improve my quality because you know, you can never stop improving. Um, Goodreads, um, I have some goals now for Goodreads, which one is start rating. So I want to start rating books because if you follow me on Goodreads, you see it just says Rachel's finished. I want to rate the books and kind of rate them based on my ratings I do in my reviews and calculate them, make it more like like I'd probably Goodreads, I just stick to plot predominantly. So I'd like to start doing that, like really contributing more to the Goodreads community of reading because I love reading reviews on Goodreads. So I think it'd be awesome to at least write mini reviews because I really love the video format more so than writing reviews for books. But I think if I wrote a mini review and then still have my video review, it'd just be really cool. And then it'd be something else for me to refer to when I really want to reread a book, but I don't have the time. So I can just be like, you know, read both those and watch it and yeah. Um, so blog, I want to find a good time to post. I want to find good time for inspiration. I just want to figure out what I want to do in my blog, the direction I want to go in. I find like I always at the beginning of the year, I'm going to post like every week. And then I like that wanes out like at the end of January or February. And I want to find a time when it's consistent. I want to maybe build up posts. Um, I've been reading quite a few blogs lately and they're really inspiring me to make more blog posts and more blog content but I wanna see how I'm juggling this new semester. I think this semester will be much easier because I do have an online class and two of my classes at school are three hour classes and then I just said basically two that are like hour classes which I have to go back and forth and stuff like that. So I think with being home more and not having the commute time um, will make it a little bit easier for me to get stuff done and write more. And I have a few um, in general like basically about my life. I continue with having a schedule. I've been really good with filling out my agenda the last semester of school so I'd like it to continue on with that. And um, I've been trying to schedule more of my calendar and stuff that I'm doing, especially for videos and stuff, so I don't lose track in assignments and like little things I wanna do or like plans and stuff. I found it's been really helpful. And this is like the first year that I've successfully done an agenda. So I wanna continue on with that in the new year. Um, I have to work on though, like scheduling on the weekends stuff. Cause usually like, especially in the summer, I won't schedule anything. Like I know it in my head, but like I won't write it down, which I need to start. I want to continue practicing Italian. I've been listening to a lot of music lately, um, Italian music, and I want to continue practicing it with my like Rosetta Stone, but it's been really busy with the school year. So I'm going to see if I can try to incorporate at least one lesson a week. I know it's not much, but at least it'll help refresh. Um, I want to get my G2. So I have my like learner's permit or like G1. I don't know what's classified in other areas. And I've done my 10 hours in car and the schooling for it, like the little thing to bump down insurance. So I just have to basically 
do some more lessons and then do my tests, which I'm my goal is to get that done by the end of summer. Um, I just haven't been able to do extra lessons because I'm just waiting till school finishes for the semester. Um, I want to put more sticky tabs in books. I want to have more quotes and stuff like a nice like little library of quotes. So I want to continue doing that. Um, maybe not every book I read, but quite a few. And I've been doing that a little bit last year, but I want to do more so this year. I want to write in my journal more. I think I started, I started in July and I think I wrote maybe like 20 times the whole year. I basically stopped writing from like July and then I just updated in December and gave like myself a few points on like what I've been up to the past few months when I've been gone. And I want to journal more because I find it's fun. Reading my journal entries though, they seem really boring to me, but you know, in the future, they'll be more exciting. And that is basically all my new goals. If you guys have any goals you'd like to share, definitely let me know. I really hope I can stick to these. I don't think they're too unattainable but these are my like short term goals for this upcoming year. Um, so yes, yeah, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.